Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I want to cover the new trackbacks poster. So, as of Scrapebox version 1.16.1, they implemented a new trackback poster. So, I have videos on the old trackback poster if you still happen to have one of those versions. And if you've been using those versions specifically, you'll notice the new trackback poster works um, quite a bit differently. So, in the new trackback poster, you're still just going to tick trackbacks. And when you do that, it's going to give you different options. It's going to give you the names field, the websites field, and the blogs field. In the names field goes, just like the comment poster, goes your anchor text. Or you can just put random names if you just want to use random names or whatever. In the websites field goes your URL. So I've just got random words in here uh, for my anchor. And then for my URL, I've got a random URL here. It's about widgets. Uh, it also does support spin text, just like your um, comments does. So I can do this sort of thing. Uh, and so on. Uh, and I'm apply that. And then in the websites field, just the list of URLs, the blogs list that you want to post to, I've got 700 and something in there. So when I go ahead and hit start trackback posting, if I don't have the learning mode poster add on installed, I'll get this handy dandy little error telling me I got to install it. That's easy. Go to add ons, show available add ons, and then find the learning mode poster and install it. Once that's installed, it may prompt you by saying something about um, some or all acquired data is missing, in which case you're going to go to platforms and just click check for more platforms, let that update, click OK, and that downloads all the platforms so that the trackback poster knows what to post to. Uh, similar for the uh, fast poster if you've watched that video. Um, and so once that's done, we're going to hit start trackbacks. It'll pop up a new window, very similar to the comment poster if you're used to that. Uh, setup here gives us options including using captures if we want. Um, and actually, let me set that up. Or actually, it doesn't matter because the sites I have don't use captures. But you can use capture service there. Decapture, death by capture, image typers, and then the secondary one, along with retries in case of how many tries. So you can set, I think, a maximum of five. I think if we set it less, it goes back to five. Uh, and then go down here, the same thing. And you can check your balance, make sure it's set up. And then you set them up under the setup here. Pretty easy. Uh, and then this is the capture service timeout. 60 seconds is probably good, but you can change that. Use proxies or not. You can check this off and it will retrieve the proxies from Scrapebox. But bear in mind, you have to have the box ticked in Scrapebox to use proxies in order for it to retrieve it. So hit setup. Now we'll go back and it will pull 10 proxies from Scrapebox. And then I have a blacklist and a whitelist. Pretty basic. Blacklist is obviously a list of URLs. Um, that we don't want to, or domains that we don't want to uh, pull from, or post to rather. And uh, whitelist is the same specific ones that we do want to. Um, you can also put words in here if you just want to actually have, you know, like the word car, that sort of thing. And so uh, you probably don't really need to use both, one or the other, but. Um, then the number of connections, which is, you know, however many you want to use, 10 is fine on the computer that I'm on. The size doesn't come this big, but I've run the size up because I'm using some auto approved blogs and sometimes they run really large in size, uh, but you can adjust that appropriately. And then once we have that all configured, we can just close out of that. And then once that's done, we're going to hit start and we can see the list of URLs, the platform, WordPress trackbacks is what these are, uh, status codes. Failed mask match means it didn't, the form basically wasn't found or the, the platform there, the setup that they're using isn't supported. Uh, Air 403 is forbidden. Um, I've got some other failed here, some reading, got some success and that sort of thing. So I'll let this run for a couple minutes here and come back and we can see it. But before we do that across the bottom, we've got some different things about CPU usage, memory loads, memory usage, and then the URLs in the list, 753, got some success, some failed, and then the number of connections that I'm using. So we're maybe a third of the way through the list here, almost half. Um, and I just wanted to let it finish up here. But while it's doing that, I was going to talk about uh, in the old trackback poster, a lot of people were used to having to put in a file that was your trackback title and your excerpts. So in the new poster, you don't have to do that. What Scrapebox does is it analyzes the page it's posting to, and it uses the page title for your excerpt title, and then it uses the actual meta content, meta description of the page itself for the actual trackback excerpt itself. And if it doesn't have one, then there's defaults that it defaults to. So let's go ahead and stop this. And then I'm going to go ahead and export. I got some different export options here. We can export success, failed, those marked as error, and the URLs not marked as success. 
So I went ahead and exported the successful ones here and just labeled them successful. Another note while we're covering the uh, trackback poster, the old poster didn't do a whole lot of communication. It sort of formulated the trackback and just sent it. Uh, and it got a little reply as successful or not. The new trackback poster is much more accurate. It actually loads the full page, pulls, like I said, the meta uh, description and the page title and uses those in the excerpt so it's more accurate and relevant to the page itself. And then also, um, it actually looks for response code from the page and waits for that. So while the old trackback poster really was just generating trackbacks and sending them, the new one is much more accurate as far as sending them and the actual response. So if you took a list that in the old trackback poster said, say it's a thousand and say it had, you know, 600 was successful and you load it in the new poster and you only get 300 successful, the reason is that the new trackback poster is much more accurate and it actually double checks to make sure that it's giving you accurate info that it was actually successful whereas the old one when you loaded it in a lot of times ones that were successful might not actually have been successful ones that are listed just because of how it worked and it was great for its time but now it's been upgraded and uh, higher accuracy is always a good thing so let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit check links here and I'm just gonna load in this actual um, successful file that we had there and hit the link checker and go with that have another video on the link checker but it's pretty basic you configure it this is the link checker uh, add-on so it's more accurate uh, I'm gonna give it a few more connections and then I'll uh, fire this up here and let it run and we can see some come in right away now sometimes you'll notice uh, the anchor text is anonymous just because of how some blogs work um, it's just not going to let you do a track back with the anchor text and then you can see um, we've got some links found here this is our link and this is probably sufficient enough so let's actually go just have a look at these and so I saved off the uh, found at, brought them into scrape box here we can open up a few of them in the default browser um, and just go all the way down here and uh, so it looks like this last one uh, is down here you see down in the bottom right hand corner down here when I roll over here we've got our link and same thing when we go this one this page is ridiculously long um, here's another one down there in the corner you can see um, we've got our link that sort of thing so and then you can see that this one apparently didn't have any meta description so it defaulted to the excerpt being from um, one of the generic ones that Scrapebox has loaded uh, and then obviously it had the page title you can see the page title here versus the page title up here being the same thing. And that is how the new Scrapebox trackback poster works. And a little different than the old one, but more accurate and has some great options, including CAPTCHA support, which the old one did not have. And it gives you um, other options in there as well, blacklist, whitelist, and then just overall it's an improvement and it also supports the uh, spin text so you can use the same format of files between the fast poster that comment poster and the trackback poster now you don't have to reformat them differently than before and that is how the new trackback poster for versions 1.16.1 and forward for scrapebox works <laughs>